When we started Wicker Goddess, it kind of fell into our laps. We didn't really know that we were building a business or creating something this big. I just wanted to have like a bohemian wedding and Wicker just fell into that. Every day we were going out looking at places and it just kind of like was an awesome routine and we were finding cool stuff. I left the corporate world very recently because I wasn't putting myself first. My mental health was like, you know, 500th on the list of things I had to do that week. And this offered me the flexibility and creativity that I was searching for. Sarah was very attracted to all this wicker, <laughs> <laughs> everything, wherever we could find it. I vividly remember this one day that it really started. We went thrifting, we found all this really cool wicker stuff. But I was like, well, maybe I'll just like try to sell it myself. And so that's when I really started like posting it. After the wedding, we realized there wasn't really a market for bohemian home goods, vintage, pre-loved, beautiful pieces. And that's when the momentum started, is when we like shifted the perspective and decided like we're buying to sell, not we're just buying to enjoy. When GoDaddy and Jillian started reaching out to us, like it made us see like this is a real thing. And people see us as a business. It's not a side hustle and that language has to go. She told me about this entrepreneur conference in San Francisco. We were just around such good company, entrepreneurs who were working towards something bigger and greater. And if we weren't inspired before, we were like at 500% by the end of the day. It just really like amplified um, how important what I do is. It was amazing. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> I know that when I put my all into something, it will be great. Throughout this process, like a lot shapes you. You can be afraid and brave at the same time. And that's what being an entrepreneur is. You jump off the ledge and you hope that there's like a tiny net at the bottom.